Welcome to Obai Golf Club in the Western Cape of South Africa. I've got 14 shots. Decent little drive to start off the day. This course has got some fast fairways and some faster greens. So in for a, a tricky day of putting, but beautiful surrounds and the weather is absolutely spectacular. So hopefully it's going to be a good one. My thinking here is just to use my seven iron and just get it in front of the green. I know there's a bunker on the left, so I'm actually trying to go right, but unfortunately hook this ball a little bit. The draw was a bit strong in this one and end up on the left. Fortunately, I've gone far enough beyond the bunker so I can just play a nice little chip shot onto the green and not having to worry about going over the bunker or landing inside of it. Greens are firm, but they're in pretty good nick. And nicely with the first putt of the day, our judge is pretty well and can tap in for a bogey. Very happy with that. Good start. This golf course is in an estate. You can see the houses around and it's about 30 minutes drive from the course that I've played previously, which is called George. This was, yeah, not my best work. Hit my hybrid and not sure what I was doing there end up in very deep rough it was actually advised not to step into this rough because there are snakes and especially during summertime when it gets very hot the snakes are coming out to bask in the sun so maybe not the smartest move and as you can see this the stuff is thick i was just hacking at it with my 99 thankfully make it out yeah then as you can see i just push this one to the right Thankfully though, it didn't go into the thick stuff again and I can play back to the green. Still getting used to the distances because I'm finding with the heat, um, as the same case with my previous video, you know, with this heat, I'm, I'm just feeling a little bit looser and the ball is going a little bit further. So it's a bit of an adjustment. Nice little putt here again, but unfortunately just miss it. First part three of the day. The safe place to play is on the right. Avoid the bunkers on the left. So I choose a club that should hopefully just go over the first bunker, but I aim to the right in case I do not connect well, which I did. Almost make this chip up, this chip and run. I'm feeling quite confident with my 50 degree. So really enjoying that. There's a nice little spring buck. And I managed to sink that for a nice up and down. This drive should be pretty straightforward. Just got the bunkers and I'm thinking I'm gonna go over the bunkers and I aim to the right bunkers because of my draw. I overdraw this a bit, don't make a nice solid connection and unfortunately end up in the bunker. My thinking here was just to play it out and make sure that I don't have a club that can reach the bunk ahead of me. Luckily for me, my tactics work out, good course management, and I'm left with a 50 degree wedge. Good execution of this 50 degree and textbook stuff, land on the green. Very happy with that. My putt is left to do the work. It's been doing well so far and yeah, lo and behold, good judge of distance on my lag putt and make the par, tidy. This hole is one of the more memorable ones. It's a par four, stroke one, so the most difficult hole on the course. Take a little bit of a tiger line, a little bit more right than I had anticipated, but absolutely killed this drive. And um, yeah, I think to date this was almost my longest drive, it was 299 meters. So super chuffed. But then as one would have it, it's the curse of the great drive. And I make a bit of a calculation error with by choosing the wrong wedge and end up shooting over the green, which is a silly mistake. 
sounded great. Little bit of a nervy pass three. Shooting it over a little bit of a canyon. But luckily for me, even though I, I didn't feel like I struck it too well, lands straight in the middle of the green. Although leaving me with a long putt. Same story here as two holes before. Just try hit this drive, aim a little bit right and try get over the two bunkers. But once again, don't make the best connection and find myself inside the bunker. Luckily it's a par five, although for some reason, as you may have noticed in my previous videos, my par fives aren't always the best. Not sure if I'm if I'm a little bit too eager or what the story is. Or if I just lose focus. Something I definitely need to work on. Get a little bit unlucky with this third shot though. Um I just managed to land in the little bunker. I probably probably a wrong club selection. And it just goes from bad to worse. These these bunkers were not the softest and my club just did not dig into the sand, shooting me over, but managed to play back after having dropped. Luckily close enough, in for the double bogey. On this par four, I've got a couple of bunkers in the middle, but I'm just thinking, you know what? Let's just bomb it. And end up hitting one of my better drives again. Draw wasn't too massive, and I managed to get it over those bunkers. And leaves me in an absolutely killer position with a short wedge into the green. Some more fauna. Spring box everywhere. I mean, just, yeah, I love it. Beautiful to see that. A little 60 degree. Got to obviously get it over the, the green side bunker. But luckily I choose my club right. And yeah, execute pretty well. It leaked a little bit to the right because I was on a little bit of a slant, which I didn't really account for. But happy with the result nonetheless. My lag putts have been doing pretty well today. Surprisingly well, and looks like uh, it keeps up. Nice, good par. Wide open here, and just once again bomb my driver. The width is completely fine, there's nothing really in the way, and uh, execute a pretty decent drive. Bit of a distance in to the par five, and I just thought, you know what, let me go for it with a six iron. And uh, yeah, managed to miss the bunker, which was quite lucky. Not the greatest chip at all, and yeah, a bit of a mistake there, quite a severe mistake. And unfortunately, these bunkers, you know, they just, oh, they were tough and end up going over the green again. So this is literally, I'm playing ping pong at this point. But finally get it stuck on the green, and now I'm left with about a five footer, and obviously lip it for a double bogey. Absolutely nasty shot shape to this drive. Yeah, I think anything here that, that doesn't uh, go out of bounds or into a hazard has done well. And by hook or by crook, I end up in front of the bunker and luckily not inside of it. Clearly you see me running, which normally is, is a good sign. That maybe I hit a good shot. And yeah, it turns out I got into the green. Another beautiful leg butt. Really, really happy with those today. But now it's one of these little knee knockers. Let's see if I can get this in for par. Oh, Slavi doing a 360. And me managing to get the par. Quite a severe win coming from behind. I clubbed down heavily, I think by about two clubs. I was hoping I could just land it in front of the green and avoid the danger of the two bunkers, but still somehow ended up going too long and landed in the bunker. There was a shot played in the bunker that you missed, but um, luckily I get it on the green.
finally trying to do the sensible thing with the water at the back and the bunkers in the front but knowing my high three hybrid shouldn't carry to the front bunkers but I absolutely stripe this and go straight into the bunker I was trying to avoid. Bunker footage was missing unfortunately, so I try to go for the hero shot, but end up slicing this to the right and have to play back onto the green. But fortunately my lag putting is on point again. At almost to get that in the hole a little bit further than i actually expected but still a good lag putt and just narrowly missed this one for a three putt disaster hole incoming drive looked decent from the beginning but leaked a little bit left the draw was a little bit too much Thankfully, it doesn't end up in the thick stuff, and I actually do have a second shot. Nice, beautiful view here. The scenery and the sea is just oh, it's unreal. Definitely worth a visit if you're ever in South Africa. Here's my second shot. Pull it a little bit, and end up going for the dreaded bunker. And we all know how these bunkers are today. You've already missed me trying to hit the hybrid out of the bunker. So this is, in actual fact, my fourth shot. And it just gets worse. <laughs> I absolutely lose my nerve here. Just had enough. It just wasn't working. But um, end up cleaning up with a decent putt. Nice. My driving hasn't been the best today and as you've seen the bunkers have been absolute magnets. Here I'm thinking that I've gone into the bunker, a little bit of frustration and kicking in again but thankfully I didn't get into the bunker and I can play a pretty straightforward 60 degree into the green. Nice, always good to land on the green. A little bit further away from the flag that, that I would like, obviously. Got to work on those distances. But thankfully, my lag putting is on point. It's funny how that works. Your putting can be on point, but then your drive is awful and vice versa. Nice little clean up there for par.
this is probably the most picturesque hole on the course. Nice par 3 overlooking the water and cliffs on the left. Slavy plays an absolutely killer shot here. Ball flight was perfect. Ends up about 8 feet from the hole. I connect. Not the best shot, but as luck would have it, my ball flight is alright. A little bit risky there on the left, but managed to end up nice and close to the pin. Yes! Birdie! What a hole to birdie. It's uh, unreal. Beautiful hole and uh, yeah, super happy with that. Unfortunately, we've reached the end of another awesome day of golf. Shot 90, felt pretty tough. My putts are pretty good. Driving, not so great. Bunkers, not so great. So definitely some things to learn from. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers.